Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays, where we are building the city of Verde Beach, and today we've got a good one. We're going to take a break from building the tech school and focus on building a spaceport. You heard me right, a spaceport we are going to be launching people into space. Here in Verde Beach, it's near the equator, which is one of the things that is ideal for a spaceport. It has ocean, so if we had some sort of issue, you could always crash land in the water. And we are about as far from the population center as we can be. So this is going to be a great spot for that spaceport. We're going to build a trumpet interchange and get the spaceport over here on the rocket launch site, whatever you want to call it, along with some support facilities. Um, but before we do that, I want to take a quick moment to give a huge shout out to today's video sponsor. Verde Beach is a beautiful city with lots to see and do, but even a beautiful city like this sometimes has its uh, troubles. Thankfully, Verde Beach Fire Department leaves everyone feeling incredibly safe and secure with its fast response times. When you're surfing the web, wouldn't it be nice to have that same feeling of safety, security, and speed? That's why you should check out today's video sponsor, NordVPN. NordVPN provides you with a fast and secure internet connection wherever you are, with over 5,000 servers in 60 countries across the globe. And you can use NordVPN on almost any device out there, whether you're using Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, or iOS. But it's not just about security. Using NordVPN, you'll be able to access region lock content from around the world. This is super helpful for me when I want to watch my favorite shows in Europe and the UK. Did you know that pretty much everywhere in the world you can watch Modern Family, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and Big Bang Theory on Netflix? I didn't until I got NordVPN. So for a safe, secure, fast, and fun internet browsing experience, give NordVPN a try by going to nordvpn.com slash cityplanner and using code cityplanner at checkout, which will give you a highly discounted two-year plan with an additional four months of free service at checkout. Once again, that's nordvpn.com slash cityplanner. Okay, so before we get started in the spaceport, I think it'd be really nice to take a look at the university, or the tech school rather, and make sure that we're still on track to level up. No reason to take this time and not do anything with it. So let's see if there's anything that we could do. We're, we have a deficit on students and attractiveness, but our big thing that we need to worry about is our research. So I do wanna go into here, and I wanna make sure they're notifying me. And we do have works being researched right now, and I just want to take a look at the extent of the school and make sure that it, it's it's lining up with where the school is. Yeah, <laughs> it is. So it's just that there's some things that we'll need to work out there. But either way, as long as we have our research going, we can figure out the rest of it down the line. Actually, I'll do one thing <laughs> because I can't help myself. And that is I'm going to place just one more dorm hopefully that additional dorm will give us the capacity that we need to get to the next level and i might actually place this dorm kind of out here this would be the dorm that i would imagine would be for the upperclassmen they would definitely appreciate the views of the water that they have um, but they'd be a little bit further removed from their classes you just take the good with the bad I can already tell I'm not going to be able to level this out, so we are going to do our best to landscape it. All right. Who said landscaping couldn't be fun? Not me. Because <laughs> I think it's one of the more fun parts of the game, at least for me. And we've got our water pipes, and we'll loop those back here. Make all of those engineers happy. <laughs> Not enough water. Come on. You've got it. We've got some students back here. So let's see if that gets us where we need to be with our students. No, no, but we'll, we'll get closer. And then for our attractiveness, we really need to find a way to incorporate in that fountain that we skipped. Otherwise, we're going to be stuck. So let's do that right now as well. Actually, we didn't skip the fountain. We skipped the statue. And truthfully, this will fit very nicely over here. With the exception of the lumpies and bumpies. And I didn't fix it over here, but I am going to fix it right here. It's too much. Too much even for me. Mm 
Now we'll get our trail connections back and we will be ready to rock and roll. Now that we finish this, we should definitely add some landscaping. Academic year report, we were looking for that. So we are doing better. Attractiveness is uh, where we need it to be now. We need more students, we need more academic works. We got one more. So we are going to need to take a look at that. We'll do that in just a second. Okay, so not too shabby, not perfect, but not too bad. And that's what we're going for. Not too bad, <laughs> I guess. It's always kind of a trick trying to weasel in a couple of trees in between the park and the road. The game doesn't like it, but it allows it, so I figure we should take advantage. The other thing is I think that we could probably make some connections. No, nope, not going to like it. Not into it. <laughs> not going to allow it. So that's okay. This will get us to where we need to be from an attractiveness standpoint, and that's really what I care about at this point. We've got some student issues. We need some more academic works. We will continue to fund those. More hospitality. We're good. And we will leave that area and come right back over here. So we need to find the most suitable place for this trumpet. And truthfully, I've already been eyeballing this. And one of the issues that we're going to have is this rail corridor. So I know that whatever I want to do, I kind of want to come in diagonally and then flank the ocean. So I think right here might be a nice spot to do that because I can come up well. So I might take a break for a quick second. And what we're going to do is eliminate just a little bit of this. Now here's where I kind of wish I had my planning roads. So I really love that mod. It's... Uh, you know, it's not for everyone, but it is definitely for me. <laughs> so I I miss it uh, when I don't when I don't use it now. Uh, I, I know I didn't use it in the last clear water, but I will be most likely in the next one. So I'm creating as short of a span as I can with it still lining up appropriately. And now I want to stretch this out as far as I can. And that's that 12 tile length. I'm going to do the exact same thing over here. And then we're going to run this right up to the highway. And we'll get that even there. So now the question is, how do we make our highway connection? And this is going to be fairly straightforward. In fact, I am going to use my old reliable, the dirt roads. We'll go up three here and get across. I'm second guessing what I did. I wanna make sure that my count is correct. Let's get it right above. I'm trying to go a full 10 units. So that's the longest span that I could have and I'm three units up and this is gonna allow me to, to make a better connection once I get to it. So now I know that we're going to have a parallel road on this side and a parallel road on this side. So we might as well make those connections. Now we'll have one over here as well. Now the one thing I'm regretting is I didn't count this off. I might actually redo that just so I get the exact same number of units on each side. I'm going to go 20 for now. Do the exact same thing over here. And I might need to add to that, but at least this way I'm coming at it in an organized way. You can see that this didn't line up perfectly. And now I'm going to turn my road guidelines on, road length on, grid off. And I'm going 12 to lower that. Same thing over here, and same thing on this other side as well. So I think angles kind of making things a challenge. 
and that can happen. So we're gonna turn off angle. We're gonna turn it on to make our first snap, then we'll turn it off so that for our second snap, we can go a little bit rogue. We'll actually turn off road guidelines too. I'm wondering, maybe I'll just leave angle on and road guidelines off and that seems to do a little better. I don't love the way that this looks. One more try. Okay, that's so much better. Oh, that, it's so parallel. I love that, I, yeah. And that's why you pay close attention to those little details right there. Now, I am gonna get this upgraded so that we don't inadvertently put some of these ramps on incorrectly down the line, because I'm notorious for that. Just like I'm notorious for this, it won't let me upgrade. It is saying that the span is too long. That's the nice thing about making it perfectly straight, is now that I've done that, it's no problem to go through and get that fixed. Just had to adjust. So now I have this, the beginnings of this completed. And in fact, I can make our connections. So I'm measuring these using the dollar amount. So I'm using 200 as my proxy. And now those are perfectly even. So I should be able to just upgrade these quickly. And now it's just a matter of making my connections. So first things first. And of course my angles are gonna get me. <laughs> so that could be one of the tricks of these, but at least we have some flexibility. And then from here, we're gonna to need to do a fairly sharp turn. That might just naturally work out okay. Very good. And we could take it down from here. And one of the challenges now, because of how we've constructed this, is that we have an overlapping movement. So what I think I wanna do is try to avoid that. And what we're gonna do is pull this back here We'll go up and over here. Well, I'm gonna make that temporary because we're gonna change something quickly. So as you can tell, one of the things I'm struggling with is that it does not like the distance that I'm at here. That's okay, we will figure it out. And now we're gonna go back to using our dirt roads so we can measure smaller distances. Hmm, little off on this one. We'll need to give that another shot. And this one we truthfully might need to do a little bit of eyeballing for. I don't love the way that that came out. So we're gonna give it one more shot. So this is a tricky one because of the angle. And I'm starting to wonder if it would make the most sense to bring this around right here. Okay, so this is very ugly. We can fix this angle now, I think, but at least we've got those two together. I don't like this at all. We might kind of go back to the drawing board here. So I think it might work a little better if we have two different roads coming off here. So these are divided, but the same. And we make our connection over here quicker. So that's what we're gonna try to roll with right now. The only thing that this complicates is this movement onto, because we have this bridge here. So always something with these. We're gonna see how this works. This is gonna be a little bit challenging, but now at least 
hopefully we can create some nice symmetry here. So what I'm thinking is we will loop this back around. Oh, that's so much nicer. And then here we will attempt to do the same thing, but inside while going up. Ah, oh. <laughs> it's so close. It's going to bug me. I think I might just have to try to get out of my own head a bit. We've got bigger fish to fry. Like, how do I make this work? <laughs> and it thinks that we're just a little bit too close. So I'm going to try my best to fudge it. Wouldn't you know it, it is mad at me. <laughs> this thing is going to make me go insane. All right, I feel like we're so close. We're gonna get there. We are gonna get there. If it is the last thing that I do. <laughs> So I don't know that it's perfectly beautiful, but it's perfectly okay. Well, I, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let perfect be the enemy of good. You know what? This is the one time I think it didn't hurt me. <laughs> and now the last connection and this one could be painful. We're gonna see. Okay, let's see if it works. Oh yeah, look at look at that. And uh, you know, there might be some slight imperfections. We can we can certainly because this is a premier interchange, we need landscaping. Maybe we'll even add a rock, which I never do. And then finally, let's finish up with a little bit of fencing. Now you might wonder, why put all of this effort into this area? It is an interchange on the fringe of the city. Well, the fences, I don't know that they're actually warranted, but they're, they're probably not. It's it's all pride in workmanship. <laughs> At this point, I put a lot of time into this and I'm going to make it look good. <laughs> That's all it comes down to there. So for here, I, I did a couple of things. You know, I've never planned a space station. <laughs> so uh, let's let's get that out there. I, I do not work for NASA. I'm not Mark Rober or someone like that. But I have thought a little bit about what would make the most sense. So first of all, we are going to want to make sure and I'm, I'm honestly wondering at this point, I'm regretting turning away from the city. So I think that makes sense. But at the same time, I think we also want to be sure that uh, we have room to operate and maneuver. So I think we're going to have the road come way out here and you might wonder why? What is the point of this road? Aren't you making a big cul-de-sac? I am. I am and I should not be. Uh, so we're going to at least tee ourselves up to fix this in the future by having this collector road here. We'll probably want to get that across here and make some sort of connection out this way, but there's no development that's spurring that right now. So now we need to look at our topography. And you can see that we've got some challenges. So we don't need to look at our budget. <laughs> we need to we need to look at our topography and fix it. So we're gonna take this and really start to, 
to build this up, to build up a flat place. Now I'm gonna leave some availability because I have to. <laughs> no option. Uh, leave, leave some, leave some land here. No option. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna come over here, and I think that what we're gonna do is just build another road off from here, a ways away from this, from this collector, and then angle it back. So this would have a lot of clearance around it. And that is the main point of what I'm trying to do. And then there would also potentially be a ring road around it. So let's go in here and we'll grab our launch site and realize that we are not far enough back. So the other thing is when we look at our topographic view, we are gonna to need to maintain our space within this area, which might mean we need to dump some soil. So we are just dumping soil at this point because we need a flat pad over here. We'll fix this up a little bit later. But I'm not even sure that we're far enough back. We're gonna to need to test this a couple of times. No, in fact, I made it worse. So what we're gonna do is again, dump some more soil. You can see this is a tough job. Okay, so I think that we're finally in a spot where maybe we'll be able to do this. There we go, that's what I was hoping for. Because what we're going to do is come back around here. Oh, and there we go. We didn't turn on our top topographic view and, and look what we get. So I think now we could move some of the soil back. So we're going to take some of this and backfill it over here. And then again, get this to where we want it to be. And now what I'm hoping to do is have a road behind this as well. And I wish that I could get some sort of lock onto anything here, but I can't. Which is a real struggle. And I've kind of done this to myself, unfortunately. And here's how. I could have done this. So this is five tiles out. There we go. So now that I've done that, I can at least build this angular road over here. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> so I need this road first. So we're going to leave that as a guide. We'll back it up just a little bit. And now I can build this angular road that I was hoping to build. I just wanted to give a little bit more space out here. That was... That was a bad pun. And it was it was totally uncalled for and I'm sorry. <laughs> now out here, I want to go just a bit further. I just want to give this place some room to breathe. So building this really makes me wish that I could have David Bowie on the channel. <laughs> you know, play some uh, play some uh, Space Man or Something like that. Star, Starman. Yeah, just liven it up a little bit. But not today. <laughs> and probably not ever. Uh, that's uh, that licensing. Man, that would be a, be a challenge. So one of the first videos on this channel ever, ever, was actually a video that I put together of how to put a sweater on my, at that, at that point in time, I had a Boston Terrier and it's funny, I applied for a job and they found the video and thought it was hilarious and teased me about it in the interview. <laughs> so just know anything you do online can and will be used against you. <laughs> so now we're going to go through and try to taper these hills and make it look a little bit more natural.
So I was trying to use the slope tool and I think that that's just not the right tool for the job. And you know, it, it's like anything, whether you're building a project in your yard or your house or your, you know, whatever. Having the right tool for the job makes all the difference in the job being difficult or not. So we're gonna use the right tool, which is, we're gonna use the uh, soft and train tool. Feather it out like we, like we used to before we uh, got good with the slope tool. Here we go, I'm feeling good about this. I think that we could have some support facilities out here as well. Generally, there's not a lot out here around these sorts of buildings, but that doesn't mean that we couldn't add in a couple of things, and I've got a couple of ideas. So I think that we could absolutely have a secondary launch site off from here. All that, and it's not far enough back, which is kind of the story of right now. <laughs> what are you going to do? So we've got two launch sites. We will need to do some landscaping here as well, or not landscaping, but terraforming. And then these other buildings, so I know it says software development studio, semiconductor plant, you know, all of these, but to me, these almost look like the kinds of, the kinds of mission control type places that you'd expect to see around here. So I think that that's the way that we're gonna use them. And we're just gonna have a number of these out here. And they, because, I mean, this is really the type of place that is auto-dominated. I'm not worrying about th this being in the most logical configuration. The most space-efficient configuration, anyway. I'm worried about really... Well, I, actually, I guess I am a bit concerned about that. But at the same time, I do think that, you know, these are... This would create a big campus of, of buildings. And they're probably not super concerned about space efficiency. Okay, so I am starting to really dig this. I think it's going to be a neat little campus, but we need some water pipes, so we're going to place those now so we can get this thing going. So normally this, I, I think that we would already know where the future right of way of this main road was going to be and we'd run it underneath there, but in light of not knowing that, I'm just gonna run it underneath the highway for now. Again, that's probably not the, actually, I'll run alongside the highway. This is probably not a great solution. Reasonably, this would probably have its own water system, but we're not doing that. This is city skylines, and that's insane. So if we do that, we will end up in a total mess, not knowing how much water we have in the city, not knowing if this area has enough. It's just, it doesn't work in the game. And that's okay. It's a game, and it's fun that way. <laughs> so in that same area, I think we're gonna add our power connection. Okay, now we have power and water. And the interesting thing is we've now opened up all of this land to development. And I would imagine that that gets developed in short order because now we have this monster employment center out here without any uh, any sort of uh, employment opportunities or any sort of housing opportunities rather. So here's where I really wish that I had a more suitable power line. I do think we might take some liberties here. Okay, so here's what I'm looking for. One of the things I saw routinely and when I was looking at the different uh, at the different uh, uh, spaceports that were out there is there were antenna around it. And I think that we can use the antenna to our advantage and hopefully get some of our connections made with the antennas.
We were able to do some, but we're not all the way there. That's okay, though. We're getting pretty close. So I do think it would make a ton of sense to have an emergency shelter over here. It would seem to be the kind of place... Ooh, that looks horrendous. So maybe not. How about instead... We just do the thing I love to do so much. <laughs> that is extreme sarcasm. I don't like using these. I don't know why. And we have one more little connection to make. I'm going to see if there are any buildings that we have that could do it. We had the nanotechnology center, which we didn't add. We also didn't add the electric car factory. Again, I do think that that makes some sense out here. I, well, I think we might skip that one in particular. And that doesn't get us to our connected roadway network that we were hoping for. Our uh, connected power network. But I'm wondering, what if I zone just a couple of small offices along here? Speed that up and see if that does the trick. Okay, we finally got our connection and we are good to go. So this is just a prop. It's going to bring tourists here and look neat. This one right here, we can actually schedule a launch. So we can change the rocket color and we're obviously going to have to be red or orange for Verde Beach. Although it's Verde, so green. <laughs> So this is a terrible cul-de-sac that I hate. So I might try to come up with another way to get down here as well. And then around here, we're gonna add some, a little bit of landscaping, not a lot. And the one thing we completely left out here that we would absolutely need is fire coverage. So, Probably a fire watchtower at a minimum. And then we should also have police and fire coverage out here. And I'll add that kind of, ah, that's, that's, that's hokey. We can't do that. That's, that's bad. <laughs> we'll add that way over here. You know, we have an opportunity to potentially make a train connection as well. So I think that we're going to add one of those so that people who are coming here have the opportunity to, uh, or people who work here have the opportunity to get here by, by another mode of transportation. Now we've got some elevation challenges here. So why don't we look at our topography? Yeah, we gotta move this as far as we can over here. The nice thing is that that creates a an interchange there, intersection there where, where it's a four-way stop. A little bit safer than having a whole bunch of uh, junctions backing up right there. Ooh, that train didn't like that at all. <laughs> and it didn't like it because we have a bumpy there. So let's try to get beyond the bumpy. There we go. It's a little bit better. It's not perfect, but it's better. And just kind of curious if we... Yeah, I think we're going to, this, we probably shouldn't create this, truthfully, this train line, but we're going to anyway. This is on our cargo network at this point, but we're going to use it. We will stop. Ooh, we actually, because it's on our cargo network, it's segregated from the rest of the system. This might be the only place where we can meet up. Interesting. So we can't even get here anymore. That's, that's fascinating. Actually, why don't we go straight into Central Station from here? That makes a ton more sense. Right in the center. Ooh, I'm getting all turned around. We're so far away. Where am I? <laughs> okay, complete the line. And this will be the space line. And we haven't named any of our train lines. Oh, that's terrible. Well, let's do that in the next one. We'll make this one blue like the sky. Oh, yeah. That's great. 
So this will bring people in from outside of the community and people from inside of the community because we are allowing inner city trains. So that's a good thing. Maybe. We'll see if it's a good thing. Uh, because we have a monster employment base right here. So we would clearly want to do anything in our power to keep this going. So I think we're in a good spot there. Um, be a little bit more landscaping. Never too much landscaping. Mmm. So we lost a whole bunch of students. We're going to have to take a look at that. Oh, no, 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 no. We gained, we gained students. We are acclaimed. We did level up, I think. Yeah, we got some, we got the auditorium, the bookstore, and the library sponsorship deals. Yeah, we're in a, we're in a good spot there. So let's do a couple more things here. We'll take a look at that, and then I think we're going to end this. It's been a fun one. So just added a couple places with some visual interest. So then we come down to this level. Feels a little bit better. Because we are way on the outskirts of Verde Beach. Ah, this isn't even Verde Beach. This is definitely its own place. But it still is tropical. And even though this is an employment hub, it is a special place that needs to be uh, admired and respected and taken taken as a point of pride for this entire community. To, to be a, a place where spaceships are launched, to be a, an employment hub like this, I mean, that's really special. That's, that's really special. So I would think that this is a point of pride for the entire community to be selected for this sort of things. This is not something that I think just any community would get. You have to have the exact sighting requirements for this to work. And the right employment base. I think that people forget about that. They wonder why certain things go to certain places. All of these companies, uh, all of these institutions, they're looking at the demographics and the education of the people who live in a place and they want to line it up. I mean, you know, you, you get the employment that the people uh, who live in the community can actually work at. I mean, you, you'd never see Amazon decide to relocate to, you know, um, I, I don't know, a very blue collar place where maybe they don't have the skills and training for that. Similarly, you would expect that GM would want to locate a new car plant outside of Silicon Valley. <laughs> Just wouldn't, wouldn't make sense. And there are some lumpies and bumpies here. And you know what? We've done such a good job taking care of those today. We've got to finish. Oh, that is, that's, that's the stuff right there. That's the stuff that dreams are made out of. Smooth roads. Oh, this though. This is not the stuff that dreams are made out of. This is the stuff of nightmares. Why? Why is everyone going through here? Why are they bypassing through here? It's shorter. Hmm. That's my guess, is that it's shorter. So how do we fix that? Ooh, and so I turned on weather just to see what would happen. And look, we've got our first rainy day in Verde Beach in 47 episodes. Let's see if we have any fires. I don't see any. I don't know that the rain does much to solve it, but someone mentioned that I never do it. So I thought this is as good a time as any to give it a shot. So we've got rain now in Verde Beach. So now we're feeling more Florida than California. Maybe that's a good thing. We've got everything bypassing through there. That is not at all what we wanted. So I might sacrifice the traffic coming in externally here and just say, good enough. We'll take the external traffic if it's coming from the other side of the map, but we don't want all this happening. I, I just, I can't for the life of me figure out why they were choosing that is the main path, except that uh, except that maybe it is like a race tr or like a like a racetrack or something like that. Where if you take the inside corner, it's a little bit shorter, and the way that we could fix that would be to bring this tight up against the building. Let's give that one more shot. I'm sure this is just what you wanted to see. <laughs> Me going at it with rails again. 
So for all of you who hate this, <laughs> who go, why? Why again? I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I know I'm torturing you and I will try to stop quickly. I like this a lot more. I think it looks nice. So we'll see if it works. Got some derailments. Speed it up one more time. Hopefully get this guy to go. Leave. Go away. <laughs> First person view of the derailment. If this is what you're into. Whoa. Okay, now we're, we're, we're clearing up. So let's see where they choose to go. They're going through it again. Darn it. That is frustrating. The only other thing that I could think to do would be to extend this out even further. Make it even less convenient. Oh, there they are. They're going along the outside. Just one anyway. Two. The cargo. All right, that did the trick. We just had to have a really long runway there. And apparently that was just enough to make this not desirable. But we still... Oh, another one. I don't know why they're deciding. That drives me crazy. That drives me crazy. So we're going to need to keep an eye on this. Because now it seems like it's 50-50 as to whether or not we have uh, folks deciding to take the bypass there. Is this person actually dropping? They're going to they're going to Central Station, so that makes no sense still. <laughs> you know what? We're done with it. I've had enough. I've seen enough to know I don't like it. So good. This'll work. We'll get the we'll get the passenger. We'll get the inner city from everywhere except for there. And uh, that'll be that'll be quite alright. The, we could probably get real hokey, run this down, and you know, whatever. We're not doing that. We're just going to call it. I think that that is just as good. <laughs> or we could connect this right up and have it directly feed in and, and feed everything through there. I guess that's the other option. But again, I don't love that option either. Maybe I should. Okay, one more try. You know what? Maybe this was the right solution. It is a bypass train station. We're just going to leave it like that and see how it works. And if we get crazy queuing or backing up, we'll call it. But but truthfully, it I think it might work. I think it might work. Yeah, it's much better than having that bypass track. So we just need to listen to what our train station tells us that we should be doing. 80 passengers, not a lot. There'd probably be some sort of shuttle around here too. It might be something we want to think about. But for the time being, I think we're going to leave it. We uh, are going to go back in our next episode and think about making this a five-star pyrotechnic college. And uh, maybe launch our first rocket. I think that uh, we're probably getting close. So, very happy with where this ended up. I hope you liked it. If you did, please consider hitting that like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel please consider doing so. And if you want to be notified when I release new videos, hit that notification icon. I also want to give a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. You can see their names listed here. They support the channel, help me upgrade my equipment, and I appreciate them. And I also appreciate you. Your likes, shares, and subscribes help increase the reach of the channel. So thank you for that. I'm going to leave you with a brief city tour like I always do. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.